Hey, I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Not too long ago, I played my very first disc golf tournament. It will be the next video from this one, the whole thing. So if you're interested in that, you can subscribe to the channel. Anyways, I had a great time in my first tournament. So in this video, I'm gonna take the most common tips I got and rank them by order of importance, how they worked for me. So you can also have a great next tournament, whether it's your first tournament or last tournament, I guess. Yeah. I will actually give away the number one tip, the by far most common t -t -t tip, and that is have fun. And having fun is something I enjoy quite a bit, I must say. But the thing is like, just have fun. For me, it's a bit hard to like, but how though? And that's why I created the Disc Golf Pyramid of Fun. Yay, but in order to have fun, you need all of these steps, the steps that we're about to go through. So first you've got the breaking down of the hole, like this hole here. Maybe I'd go fuse, 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 not hitting the tree, fuse, fuse, fuse. Keystone, 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 keystone. And just a little putt here. But the problem, well, one of the problems is that I'm not this accurate in my throwing. If you've seen one other video on this channel, you would know this. But if it works for you, if you can throw like this, then do this and then let me know in the comments how you do it. Moving upwards, learn from the people, the people on your card or any people around the tournament. I did this. I talked to the people, I talked to people like and just ask questions if you're interested in like, how do you throw like that? What disc do you use? Why? And usually people are pretty nice. And if they're not nice, then I have this thing. And this is an extra tip, I guess, that don't take critique from someone that you wouldn't take advice from. I didn't come up with that, but I, I like that advice. Practice round. This one I did, and here's the, the strategy I used. This is a couple of days before the tournament. I've gone the round now, the whole 18 hole, the whole hole, the whole 18 hole. And I've written down the, the discs I'm gonna throw from the tee pad. And I'm gonna stick to this plan as best as I can during the tournament. I sort of stuck with the plan, but I disced up like pick the faster discs sometimes. Just because throwing the fast disc in far is like, still pretty cool. I had more fun doing it, even though the score didn't, it didn't help my score. It's fine. Warm up, warm up. This is very important for your body and for your mind to be ready. The body, like warming up, I have no idea. I just would do weird, movements but for my mind i usually have a song I, before job interviews and apparently disc golf tournaments i can't play the song because of copyright claims but i'm gonna read a paragraph or two <clears throat> x gonna give it to you what disc golf waiting for you to get it on your own x gonna deliver it to you go hard getting busy with it I got such a good heart that I'll make the disc golf wonder if he did it. I changed a couple of words there, but everyone on my card had their own way of warming up, whether it be stretching or taping an ankle that hurt. Like everyone had their own way of, of warming up. Next up, know the rules. And this was really important. And this was really important for me to know the rules before the actual tournament so I wouldn't be all like, I don't know what to do. And the people on the card be all like, what? But in the separate video that is linked below, we forgot one rule, this. <gasps> you can move an object. I don't want this. Fine, but this is not fine. Don't break nature, because <laughs> it will break you. Getting there, play for par. Let's say you landed here and there's the basket, but behind the basket is the watery OB area. 
then maybe play for par. I maybe would do that. Yeah, 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 I probably should do that. Play hole by hole. This is one of those tips that it's easy to say, but a bit harder to do. I had some putts in my tournament that was like, that's why this is keep happening to me. <laughs> but I do think if you can forget your last hole, whether it's good or bad, stay away from emotions. It will help you out a lot. Very important, the essentials. Because this might happen. Am I comfortable now? No, but I think it's important to plan out where you're gonna play the tournament. Will there be mosquitoes? Will you stand in the middle of the forest like this? Maybe, but it comes down to being as comfortable as possible. And I think that's super important to have a good time in your tournament and just life. And the number one tip, or the number, the second tip, I guess, and a lot of people said this tip. A lot of people said to breathe. And at first I was like, yes, people, I'm gonna breathe. I do that most days of the week. But there was just a lot of people that wrote it. And I was like, there's gotta be something here. It's gotta be. So what I did was I wrote it in the palm of my hand just because I forget things. Apparently breathing. And just before I was gonna throw my off the tee shot, I just took one moment, I looked at my hand, and I took just one, just one breath. Just one slow, calm breath. And it led me to relax my shoulders and forget about stuff and be more in the present, I think. And it really surprisingly helped me out a lot. That simple, breathe. Just one breath. Hmm. So that's every step on the disc golf pyramid of fun. All the things you would need to have fun. And if you have another tip that is really important to have fun or have a good time playing, please let me know in the comments so we can help each other out having the fun. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It would be nice to have you here. And press the thumb, the thumb like. It also helps. It, uh, have a great day. You deserve it. Goodbye.